We're back for Complexity versus Misfits in what was certainly a bloodbath in the very first game of the night between the two. Maybe doesn't transfer over, but I'm going to say that there's a chance because the complexity that we just saw not looking so hot. Not looking hot at all, actually. Though, on you know, on the positive note, Misfits on the other side looking pretty decent, actually. Uh just, again, not anything uh, mind-blowing in the sense of how they approached Cash, but just very good execution. It seems like Devadek is finding his place nicely, just being an aggressive player. I think, uh, well, both Blue and, and Dace mentioned the fact that, you know, when they were playing Cash, made some changes as to how they're approaching their T-side positioning, Sick playing towards Squeaky, uh, Devadek being the guy who's being sent out towards mid oftentimes, uh, and Dominic towards B, and it, it was working nicely. So that's good to see. They've definitely put in some time on that map. Well, going in the train, uh, I mean, it, it's one of these weird things, right, where we're, we don't know too much about, I guess, how either side is yeah. going to approach it. Uh, so it's kind of speculation, I mean. It, it is, uh, very much so. And what we did see versus Renegades uh, yesterday from, from Misfits is obviously we only saw... But the game felt over uh, very early on because Misfits had just a strong, uh, strong first half, so we didn't really get you know to see whether or not they were playing to win the entire time, uh, and it didn't really feel like that for the second half uh, as well. So kind of a weird uh, matchup to to kind of gauge how good they are on train, but obviously they have. They wouldn't have picked it if they didn't, you know, have some semblance of idea of what they were doing. Like we have some idea. Well, no. let's look at train now. We do have complexity. We're going to be throwing it over to Eric DeBear Stromberg. Hey guys, welcome back. To Stromberg Strategies, we're going to take a look at Complexity on Train. They're losing to a team called E United. You remember them from last season. They're down 10-0. to Youch, that's not good. Um, one thing that I noticed in this match that Complexity were... They were trying to do defaults, kind of like a puggy style of play, the first bunch of rounds, and they are getting destroyed by J. Krill. That guy was just offing them left and right. So what they do on the first round that they win, spoiler alert, is that they do something together, guys, with the team. They got that one smoke Z. I like the smoke Z. It gives them more freedom to push up. You can see if they're hiding behind Pop Dog and whatnot, and it forces them out to um, jump out, and you see Android's able to push through. I like the um, the whole process. They actually work together as a team, guys, this round, and that's why they won. It shows, like, you don't have to have outstanding skill to win rounds if you work together with the team. The smokes, the timing, the pushing, the coordination worked for these guys. If it works for complexity, it could work for anyone else. I'm sorry, that was a little mean. You know, they have potential. They just gotta do it together, guys. You don't have to do pug defaults every time. You're down 10-0. Especially when Alper is destroying you, use smokes, use flashes. It kills Alpers. It really does. Back to you guys. Thanks, Eric. All right. So when we look at this, and I mean, even looking at the stat line here on, on uh, my middle Lenovo MacBook here, my, yeah. my, my, my Lenovo, uh, what would it be, laptop? Yeah, it's there been we a go. long time you since I use this terminology. <laughs> Jesus. Got it just kind of rolls off the tongue. Anyway. After we just took a look at that, uh, we, we kind of determined that Complexity doesn't really have a home map that they can foresee. Like, <laughs> hey, we feel super comfortable here. No, they're one of those few teams who have the, the unfun honor of not having a single map over 50% wins uh, win rate, which is obviously, you know, I, I think it's a, it's a pretty nice picture of how their season has been so far. Uh, hasn't been pretty. Uh, and uh, I, I don't see it changing today or changing to, to close out the week either. Going into this, it's uh, Misfits looked pretty decent on at least one half of Train from what we saw yesterday versus Renegades. And we really haven't seen Complexity play Train at all for the better part of a month. And when they did, that was, you know, losing 16-3 to versus E United. So not a whole lot to build confidence on. Well, bringing the commentators into the picture now... Uh, guys, what can complexity really hope to have happen here to gain any sort of, well, hell, I mean, anything at this point, <laughs> right? <laughs> Probably a lot. Double figures. <laughs> like, Well, they got to hope that when their players say, hey, I'm going to go, <laughs> just gonna kill go this guy, because that's apparently the only strategy they bring to the table. Do you think they actually that go it, like, that, yes. <laughs> hold on, hold on, I'll be right back with you. <laughs> well, I'm going to get yeah. right with you. <laughs> yeah. No, they got to hope that... <laughs> When he says that, he it's not an entry death, and it's just a 4v5 for their team. But, but uh, hold up, hold up. I'm going to let you finish. <laughs> but the game is live. I'm going to let you guys take it from here. All right. Thank you very much, Sutta. It is indeed time to jump into the map, but it's going to be train for our final one of the evening here. Misfits versus Cole. Again, probably an even tougher map I mean, for Cole, to be honest. Cole just needs some semblance of teamwork. I mean, do you ever... How often do we see a complexity player flash for somebody else and a player get a kill? It's like never. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's just ridiculous. 
Well, Sick is going to swipe his way into the first kill there as he knocks out Desi. Again, claiming the first one. Oh, nicely done from Shazam. Doesn't even hesitate on that flick either. Just destroys that was Android. Really nicely played by Sick. Nicely done from Sick as well. To be able to say it's out of line of sight there. Freeze back from more of the Cole players. The last two left alive. Death and Slemmy. Pick up two of their own here, but still 2v3 overall. I'm not getting onto the site just yet. They tried to shift it over down the ladder room, but Devo spotted that. And as Def did try to fall back up the ramp, Omidek grabs the back of his head, claims the pistol for the Misfits. Yeah, De the uh, the raid boss there with the Tech 9 half armor, upgrades to a scout this round. This was really well played by Sick. So he gets that kill, but look what he does here. He actually hid from Surreal because he knew Surreal was going to push him and then peeked after Surreal, peeked his spot and looked towards Z. That was so good by him. Well, now we do have Misfits' players again trying to go aggressively out Ivy this time, then possibly challenge a stack from Cole. Not a stack, just one, but hey, overwhelming odds. Deuce Hill end up winning the battle quite convincingly. A few more from Cole are going to be hanging back outside of Tcon. And well, hello, there's Android with the Deagle work that we've been wanting to see. Maybe another one possibly to come in the future as he pops back on top, does spot Shazam. Knows he's getting closer, doesn't know exactly where, though. This is going to be the tough part is spotting it back out. Both of these train lanes are going to be occupied by CTs. Devo able to find one with Shazam, not much luck. Devo striking once more, though, and also Omenek sneaking up towards the E-Box here to hold close on it as well. Surreal swinging back in to the fray, but not able to find anything with it. And Death just not even spotting his opponents appropriately there. So Omenek shuts it down, holds the line, stops Complexity from getting close to a plant, and denies the eco upset. As Misfits do get to go up 2-0 and probably 3-0 here in a few moments. Yeah, Android doing his best there with a D. Gets two nice kills. Two sick and who's Shazam? Yeah. But really, like, when do we ever see teamwork come out of complexity? We don't really. We didn't. When do we see a nice flashbang to help to you know help win around or a good setup on CT side? It's just so individually based, and I mean, I don't know. And although they have some pretty decently talented players, like they're not good enough to win just completely solo all the time with zero teamwork. It's just it's just not gonna work. Well, Cole. Splitting up initially, but do group their players up now, and the Whitehalls lead them over just to the edge of the box halls here. As they are getting prepared, more than likely to go for an all-in push. Problem is, is Omenek is going to see this coming from a mile away. Even if he doesn't challenge it, he'll be able to see just how many players are here. Already picking up two in that, and he only loses half of his HP in the process. So that's going to put a complete stop to what complexity we're more than likely going to try to do. And Sick doesn't even hesitate either to come up on this flank. Basically just rolls up the ladder. Moves in to try and shut down these last two players. They're restricted to basically the, to the top entry point here. And again, no damage done really at all to the Misfits. Omenek survives the round, even gets a third kill at the end of it there. Makes it out alive with two HP. And it looks like we're off to more of the same. <laughs> but we'll see. Uh, Shazam does get the op, and they get a double op set up right off the bat with Almanac and Shazam, and I actually like this a lot. You're playing against a complexity team that probably isn't going to throw any executes at you. Most of the ways they try to win rounds is just by straight peeking things, and fighting, and just hoping to win gun battles. So, what counters that? Yeah, let's just double up. And Shazam could very well pick up his first kill right here. Oh, okay, never mind. Dev out to the open, and just deck Shazam, and they'll be the ones to strike first this time. So for the first time in a while, it is Complexity that get themselves the early round advantage here, picking up the first frag against Shazam. Still the second off you're working with, though, and Sean trying to be sneaky and moving up against that smoke, but Desi reads it and sprays him down. So this actually goes to a 5v3 very quickly. Sick having the potential to change it, but he too doesn't really work out so well in the initial battle here. Moving away from the flash, but is able to recover. Bit of a messy battle, though, as you can see, only making it out of the fight with only one HP. The bomb's still down outside of Tcon, so obviously Almanac is going to be a little bit unsecure about his own position. Still sticking around for now, though, because he's the only one that can defend it. Well, Devo Dubek, last player alive beside Sick with a rifle that still has full HP. Sick, regardless of his health pool, though, is still sticking in the fight back by Tcon there. And Complexity sort of seems to have frozen just outside. There's still these two players lined up in the box, so ready to execute on the B at any moment. But as Omenek, we saw a player jumping back down, does connect onto a leg in the second shot, but still no kills coming out just yet. Molly should block the path, though, and prevent Death from being able to safely cross. 
gonna get himself into a good position here. The rest of the team is froze as well. Time's getting very low, and Demo Duvek gonna be able to push up against this here, flashing into it, hopping around the left side. He'll buy and move in here and stop the plant. Succeeds. Still 20 seconds remaining here for them to try and go for the plant. Surreal finally picking up another kill for Cole, and Death finds one too. So now it's all on Omnic, but he's got the bomb in the open. There's only 10 seconds left, and he sinks the final two off shot. So they bring back the round from what seemed like certain defeat, a 3v5 victory for Misfits as they continue to reign flawlessly, moving into the second map even further now. That was one of the most poorly played rounds I have seen in Pro League. That was astonishingly bad. They had full control over everything. Yeah. And that. They weren't even, they weren't and even what do they play. do? What do they do? They all huddle up at Pop Dog and <laughs> have a bonfire or something. I don't know. That was shockingly badly played. That's a real that, I think that round's a real example of showing oh. the other the other issue with Steven Park before or that you brought up before where they don't have anyone that actually can like take the opening battle for them and win it. It's like nobody wanted to go out. Nobody wanted to get on the site. That they didn't time. even have to take an opening battle. They had both smokes down. It's a free plant. Mm -hmm. And they don't even get the bomb down. They had like 15 seconds to just get the bomb down for free. They knew it was a retake. And they couldn't even do that. That was, like, ridiculously bad. Well, she's more than likely going to continue as it's already down to Surreal here in the fifth round. He's recovered it up, but it's not like he's going to be able to do anything with it. It's completely smoked off as only Ivy control to play with, and let alone 17 HP. So as soon as that smoke goes away, Sick is going to knock him out. And there we go, a 4K round from Sick. As Misfits push up the five here, still working with the double op setup as well. We are heading into the second gun round now for Cole. I can't believe I ever had faith in Cole. <laughs> like, <laughs> what is wrong were, with me? <laughs> I think he said they could 1 1 CLG the other day. Yeah. yeah. So I, th I thought they would take a nap. Man, was I wrong. Yeah, I mean, these guys are a mess. No, I'm telling you, that was like. That was so badly played, it was. Just sh it was that was shocking to me, mm. like that was jaw droppingly badly played. Well, we'll see if they can make it any better in this round. So again, they get the opening 5v4 advantage. Zam peeking into back box halls there is going to be punished pretty quickly. And now, much faster outside this time to actually move in and take control of this site instead of just yeah, sitting in the box save, halls. Though. This is a 3v5 that I don't think is winnable. They can be pushed up inside anywhere, and, and they are going to save right away. This is a really good call by them. Um, if I was them, it'd be really nice to get a couple exits on the way out, though. Uh, you know, hopefully they, hopefully for Misfit's sake, they push them at Ivy. They can punish a couple people being aggressive. But complexity, if they're smart about this, I don't know if you chase here. Yeah, they are going to be posting up back outside of Ivy now and just waiting this one out. So, no action being taken really by complexity here. Their money is still as fragile. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if you could get kills chasing here. It just it seems too tough of a task to me. Misfits oh, are going to have see. enough cash to buy in regardless, even if you drop them. Oh, let's check out Misfits' cash. Yeah, pretty decent, but after this round, they're going to be broke if they lose this one. It's a very good round by complexity. So off of that, obviously, the rebuy is going to come back in and the potential for reset too, but the good news is complexity kept all five players alive. So realistically, even if they do lose this round with no one saving, they can probably force up somewhat decently into the next round, even with the minimal losing bonus there. They're still going to be able to, at the very least, get themselves like UMP armor buys and something like that, and a few players may be able to scratch together some AKs. So not the end of the world for complexity because they do basically win out that last gun around flawlessly here. Let's see if the Misfits are going to be able to battle back, still keeping some aggressive presence down here on the B-bomb site, but this time, Shazam! It's his shot from a different position, though, way over on the other side of the map. He's able to completely destroy Slemmy right off the bat, and it's Misfits this time to get the 5v4 early advantage. And Shazam going to be looking to maybe capitalize on a second one here in moment two, as Surreal is going to be inside of Tikon. Just on the outside, though, you saw it a moment ago. The op barrel may have just been slightly peeking back out, but even so, Shazam probably wouldn't have been able to detect it if it was. So not going to be able to spot him just yet. Maybe we to take a little bit of control. By Tcon here, and it wants more. He'll end up peeking into it in a moment here. Still trying to look back out, but it's just basically a bit of a standoff. Cyril does not even want to move inside of his own Tcon there. Just too risky of a play, considering the pressure. Shazam has already demonstrated against him. 
They still hold back Boxalls, and they've got a guy trying to sneak outside of the ladder. The problem is, he's going to be chasing for this kill. Doesn't even check behind E-Box, so two easy kills for Demo Dubek. Shazam did get knocked out by Android, and Desti's going to find, finally, this trade call to Devo. problem is, is Devo caught three kills from this singular position before going down, so pretty much killed the rest of the hit, and it's an easy trade-out from the opera there to close on the round. So their strategy there against a double up setup and a full buy by Misfits is to walk outside together with zero nades. Per that was apparently yes. That was the game plan. Yeah. There's too many teams. <laughs> <laughs> The, it's just, just the, way too just many the new, teams. Like, hashtag now. Yeah. <laughs> just hashtag too many teams. So Cole once more trying to battle out as they do at the very least get a buy. It's a bit of a weird one though. It's Lemmy's got a P250, but everybody else had rifles. So he's just the odd one out in this situation. Look at the way they are trying to win rounds. Yep, just trying to force at it again. Nobody's watching this flank, so I think it's six sitting in the corner here. Just gets a freebie on the next guy to come out from Tcon. Android does respond to that, but it's a matter of 1v4. Devo Duvek immediately who is calling? translates it. They're going into a double op setup with zero smokes. The only smoke we saw was a smoke by Misfits that smoked out Team Mid, oh. that the T's are going through. Yep. What is, who is calling Shrax? <laughs> like, what, how is, we've, you're not even over giving this. yourself a chance to win we, the round. We've been over this already, man. The, the strategist, the, he's just gonna go out and get a kill. True. It's a strat. Yeah. It's, just, it's just they all five of them are trying to do that, and it's, yeah. just, it's just not working for any of them. It's just, I, it's, it's crazy to me. Just gotta chuck that up as a failure at some point. <laughs> As again, fast toss out. <laughs> <laughs> it's just. I can't even mess up the window. No, it's smoke. honestly like comical at this point. And six got this corner again. Nice triple kill. <laughs> Desi just fell through the it's smoke. It's honestly comical at this point. What are we, nine to one or eight to one? Eight to one, I think. Yes. Oh. <sighs> So, <laughs> I mean, yeah, Cole is continuing, and it's not even like they're trying for inner hits anymore either. They just keep going out on A. It's like three rounds straight now, where they've just tried to brute force it. There we go. Thanks, guys. Just just helping the morale a little bit over there for the complexity fans at home. Trying to make it look like they're still uh, buying into it a little bit. But Cole back into AKs. They may not end up beating much. Look at this from Sean now. Is he just going to go in, gets a one-to-one -one transition, and then Omidek picks up the second. That's still that's still a W for Misfits at the end of the day. And now they've even pinched them, too. Coming back up on the flank, Devo just destroys Android. They're stuck in Voxels. Granted, again, a little bit over-aggressive from some of those Misfits guys. So there is still room for Cole to battle back if they choose to punish this, but not expecting the second player. Sick, again, gets another one-to-one -one tr trade over there. And now it's just down on Desi, who they just read his, his rat back out to the ladder room as well. So that gets mollied off, kills his plan there. He's going to try to go back. Looks like through upper, more than likely. Still kind of thinking about it. But we'll see in a second overall, though. Not going to be feeling too confident about it. He's going up against both the ops as well. Has utility to utilize, but obviously the big question is what is going to be his end game overall here? The same end game as always for Complexity. Just going to kill him. Just going to go kill him, man. <laughs> like, just come on. <laughs> it's like pinky in the brain. <laughs> yeah. What are we doing today? It's like to the world. <laughs> <laughs> what are we doing today? What are we going to work on? What do you mean, what are we going to work on? We're just going to go out and kill people, man. <laughs> are you kidding me? It's complexity. <laughs> there's just a, there's just like a rank S quota for all of Cole's oh, players that they have to they have to play at least every week. Yeah. <laughs> if they don't meet that, they get fined. But other than that, that's the, that's the minimum requirement. No, they, they get into the server and they're like, what, what do you mean practice? <laughs> just go out and kill people, man. <laughs> so I believe Cole's going to call for a pause here, 9-1, to one, very much needed. Uh, although it is going to be happening on an eco round, so we probably won't see much from it until at least the next round. What do you think this conversation is going like? <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's asking Slummy, what do we do here, man? I don't know what Slummy's response would be. That's just, that's just, I mean, you guys aren't going out and killing people. <laughs> that's what you said you're going to do. What do you want to do now? They have like 12k each. We're down 9-1. to one. So just, you guys really need to hit those entries. This is, yeah. this is getting ridiculous. I mean, I'm pretty sure it's not Slemmy or like with. I'm pretty sure it's not Slemmy because 
when we watch Slim, the, the thing about Slimmy is I bet you he's just not like assertive at all or something. You know, because we've seen Slimmy with like selfless, right? And they actually, I know they got relegated, but every match they lost was like 16, 14, and things like that. And they were actually like decently, you know, strategized and whatnot. We're actually working on like improving, in my opinion, but this is just a mess. Yeah, and they are going to be basically just a deco around here. Slimmy gets a P250, but everybody else is Deagles and only one armor by Undesi. Split up again. All right. Desi's just going to walk his way into that kill. As he was able to, at the very least, find Amanek at the beginning of the round there. So a little something to work with. They get a second one, too. There Surreal. Go, man. Some just got to kill some people, dude. Yeah, there we go. Just with Deagles, apparently, was the secret solution here. Yeah. So they've got the 5v3. <laughs> <laughs> got to hold on. Slummy's got an op now, too. So they've themselves up quite a bit. Devo, though, is going to try to change some of this. He did spot the players. Nice shot from Shazam. I think he was back over here by his bomb train, actually. I don't know. It looks like he's close to Ivy. But still, Devo Duvek hits one more with his pistol before going down. They've evened it back up to a 2v2. Obviously, Slummy still has the op. Shazam at the train stop. He's got to be careful to peek. We're back over there at the ladder position. They could just swing out and take him down. He goes up. Both the hoppers miss in this case. As now he's going to end up going against... Not the opera, excuse me. The other Deagler is going to miss as well. As he also tries to take the shot, but the flashbang hits. Shazam still trying to play from up top here. Finally meets the connection. Slemmy trading, though, and now down to a 1v1. Sean completely detached from all of this. He's running back through CT up the old bomb alley right now. And Slemmy, I think, just saw him. Yeah, he did. Or one of his teammates did, maybe. I don't know if Sean saw Slemmy, however. But regardless, Slemmy just is going to dip back down into the other site. Try to plant it here anyway. We'll have the time to do it. Sean's still pretty disconnected from all of this. He shifted over towards B, so maybe he did see him go back into the ladder room there and try to shift in. But in a second, obviously, he's going to realize it's not on B and try to come back over there towards uh, towards the towards Z, probably. See his move towards it. But so let me still focusing on those back tunnels. Still, obviously, he's very secure in the event that Sean does follow through here and push out through Z. As he goes back to the position, just going to be checking for in a moment. He's got a great angle to win this out. Sean doesn't even look like he's even checking back over here towards T-Con right now. So really good setup for Slummy to work off of. Now just has to actually move in here, follow through. Sean is going to move closer to T-Con and Slummy doesn't even want to take the conflict, actually. Sean won't check inside of T-Con and that maybe is demise. As now Slummy is going to wrap back out and legs him as well, but over to the pistol and he'll finish things off. Finally, another round for Cole up on the board. The Deagles do it. Straight there. But obviously, the money buildup for Misfits is going to be still very much a thing. Although, it's not like a huge amount, actually. After this one, they may end up with like a half buy scenario already. So they've got this full buy here, but they're already not looking too good if they end up dropping this one. That's the that's the real big question, though, is actually can we see complexity win out with full-on gun round and keep that consistency going to be able to pick up a second round? If they had that same problem back over on, uh, back over on the first map, couldn't chain two together at any point. We're just taking it nice and slow here in the 12th round. But Sick also getting a lot more aggressive again. Already inside of T-Con. It's been smoked out. That was a little bit close, but it doesn't hit him. And Resmoke is going to come back in towards this area as well. So T's are going to be denied access. If they want to try to line up this default A play, they're going to have to wait it out for another 30 seconds or so until the bomb it does start to fade away a bit more. And they can actually start to move in and take this control. And even when they do, they're going to have to immediately fight Sick. Ladder players may have to go against Devo Duvek. He's actually, I think, pushing into the room to fight with Sick now. So they're going to have two guys in here ready to fight this off. Even if Sick goes down and pushing forward, they'll have to take down Devo Duvek. In they go. Sick is caught looking away as they move in. But now Devo's here for the trade, but he doesn't pick, get anything at all. Surreal just picks up that second kill. They've got that 5v3 advantage, and they're going to panic rotate a second guy into the A site. But it's well found that as they are going for this execute, they're still trying to line up like full smokes and everything, it looks like, too, with just 30 seconds left. Shazam spots them jumping back over. That should pull the B player over at any moment. Sean catches the first one moving in. Shazam misses a very important shot, though, and that is going to let Slummy into the site as Sean goes back up. He tries to hit some more kills, only able to get an additional pickup. But two of them have taken massive damage. Desi's down at 25 and Surreal's at 40. So Almanac could attempt to go for this if he wanted to, although it's not looking likely. He's taking a long path around out towards T spawn. And it's looking like he may just try to line himself up for a couple exits. Yeah, the, the flash that won the round was the flash that he throws and Sick turns away and it goes behind him and then he peeks with it. That was like the round winning flashbang there. Mm -hmm. In order to push Sick back. Um, I do think a better setup though in that situation is to do the mid control. And if you want 
Devo or Sick there, that's fine. Put him on the right side. And then have Shazam op it from Sandwich. That's like just so strong. So Almanac again trying to keep the money as low as he can here. He's knocking out one of the stragglers. It's real. Just hides inside of Tcon though. He knows he's going to be safe there with the op. So keeping those two alive and well. Does Complexity get themselves a nice money build up, especially over on Surreal there. In fact, he's just going to donate some guns over to save his teammates a little bit of cash. Nice shot from Surreal as well to hit W back when he attempted to set up these two trades, but just was unsuccessful in doing it. So just like that, we have the 1M4 saved from the 12th round, but Misfits are not really going to bring anything else significant to the table here for this next round. Just a few upgraded CZ and armor buys. Devo gets himself a Deagle, and Shazam will have nothing to play with. Sean just going to risk his life right at the start. Shifts into the smoke, but also tagged down very low from the start of the round. Already at 60 HP. Yeah, trying to hunt for him. I think they know he's in there somewhere. And finally, Desi's going to get the spot upon it. That takes out Sean. Def. Yeah, Regrouping with the rest. No other pressure. Going to be working against Misfits. They did have a gamble stack in A. So everybody else. B. Going to be basically. Oh, a nice shot from Devo, actually. Does knock out Android. You still have Surreal here, however. So he's going to be positioned in a spot to try and trade that back out. Finds the trade, but not on the player he was hoping for. It's actually sick that he knocks out next. Devo takes the battle again, though. Looking to try and take down Surreal. Tags him once. Not gonna, much is going to happen, and really this is just a distraction as the bomb works its way through Whitehall's back over to the B-bomb site, and eventually their actual execution to get it onto the ground and then try to close out here and round their comeback in these last few rounds. But in they are going to go in a moment here. Thing is though, is that Misfits, you know, very clearly know what's happening. So they've also rotated in and they're gonna some close presence, as you can see from Almanek. Still has that rifle in hand and an overexposed spot though. So Desi is gonna be able to move in, gets two nice headshots to close out on the round, and Def finds the third, really pushing over towards Z. Yeah, so complexity fighting back. I mean Misfits is gonna have to work for this win now. That Deagle round was like the real round that uh Fuck just started up his comeback with. Just an upside round like that. Or something was that 1v2. Uh, but we got a scout on Am Amanek, Pop on Shazam. Yeah, Death Hazlet is waiting for this Molotov to go back away so that he can start the pushback outside over here. Already choosing a challenge from out on Tcon as well. More Molly's going further back. He's going to try to restrict the op presence over here by the train stopper. Sick though, catching a first kill, but Def is going to be able to trade that as Sick still holds up in heaven afterwards. Devo really hoping the players push him from the short lane, but he's losing teammates quickly. Slemmy now taking down Shazam. Finally, Devo gets himself into a battle here, but he's been surrounded now, so he's not really even secure anymore. I'm going to check both directions. Desi swings out, gets the quick headshot to shut down Devo Dubek, and now just Sean waiting in the sight, but Desi looks away as he peeks out for Sean, so he's still alive. He can even creep up here if he wants to and punish Def on the Plant. He's going to try to do that post plant now as he just peeks right up into that down to a 1v1 and Surreal already low here. Sean just needs a few more shots to knock him out of the picture and Sean's going to go for the nade. Toss back bounces in. Does a little bit of damage. Only two overall though so not a huge deal. And keep in mind Sean's ammo is low. He's only got seven bullets left in the clip. Surreal is playing this smartly though and now choosing to move back around and waste as much time as possible as he holds in the lane. Sean with no kit either. Basically leaves him with no time for this one. Surreal's gonna peek it though, and I think with that kill and the instant jump onto the bomb, Sean may just be able to grab this and push Misfits up to a 10th round. We'll see in a second. It's gonna be a little bit close, but it looks like he just gets it. And Misfits do indeed claim victory on this round. Yeah, I just have no idea why Depp would plant in that situation though, when there could be a guy that just runs up on him and gets a free kill. I mean, that was even a 2v2, I believe, when he started planting. Mm -hmm. The opera wasn't even really in a position to trade. Yeah, it was a 2v2. Surreal got the kill on Almond. Yeah, like, I I do not get it. Um, just forcing that plant makes no sense when Sean's on the bomb train. So just like that, Misfits do go back into control of things as we head into the last round. Still enough money left over. Oh my god, Sean! Just bulldozes his way up ramp there, and in fact, he almost gets the second kill too. Has a good lineup on it, but a good reaction from Desi saves him. Android is also able to pick up an additional kill into Sick here. So early advantage to Cole. As Misfits just wants to get right into combat for this last round on the half here. The rest of Misfits spreading out though in a 3v4. They have won situations like this in the past, so you do not want to write them off. But Cole, not going to waste any time. It looks like they're just going to quickly group up all four of their remaining players and try to make a bid for the B-bomb set as soon as they can line up smokes and one up. That's yeah, going to be a retake setup and Omnix holding it. Just looking for the off shots that he can hit. Does leg one of them. I think actually it might have been the nade. They threw back out there. 
He's got two of them are caught in the cross. Timing almost leads to the death of Bominek. Dodges the bullet, though. Keeps himself in the play for a little bit longer. To having a little bit of utility to toss back. Great flashbang. Completely restricts them. Gives the Misfits players a good two to three seconds of free movement. Shazam is going to be able to pick off Surreal. Omnix at this advanced tanker position that he just wrecked them on in some, one of the rounds in the past as well. But Android now trading on Shazam. Devo getting a close. Slemmy doesn't even realize it for a moment there as he tries to hug the wall. So Devo is going to get the second. Now it's down to Desi. No ball on top to hold here. And they just push him anyway. As they will be able to re-secure the site and defuse that bomb to put up themselves up to an 11th round and close out this half in strong fashion. Complexity coming back alive a little bit there towards the end, but still a dominating... Oh, he actually lost the round. Okay, so Complexity wins out one more there as they were messing around with the defuse for a little bit too long, so that ends up costing them. So apparently we go 10 to 5 on the round, and off of that, all well, Complexity get themselves one more. But Misfits still have control of the lead, so stick with the guys and we'll find out in just a few minutes if they're going to be able to follow through and make this a quick 2-0 or if Cole can bounce back and trade out the maps. ESL Pro League is brought to you in part by Logitech G, PaySafeCard, Legion Lenovo, Mountain Dew League, and ESEA. time this evening and for this week. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the ESL Pro League. It's still Complexity versus Misfits. Bit of an odd round there to end up the half. One that Misfits should have definitely taken, but... Well, but do you see how easy that was when they got the bomb down? Yeah. Like, they had the bomb down. It was a 4v3, and the guy jumped to plant the bomb. <laughs> Whereas the time before, they even had an extra smoke, and they just couldn't get the bomb down for some reason. They couldn't plant. So, I mean, it's... Just that little, you know, simple difference. I mean, I know they actually shouldn't have won the round, but they put themselves in a position to at least compete for the round. Yeah. Absolutely. You know, and it's like the simplest thing I've ever seen. I don't know how they messed up the first time. Well, we are getting back into the second half now. We'll get to see if it'll be another quick one with Misfits holding control. Obviously, Complexity with at least five rounds up on the board will have a better chance to try and battle back and give themselves a few more mistakes that they can make. But overall, still definitely not a workable scoreline if they drop this pistol and don't immediately win the next force buy into it. Now, some aggressive holds for them as we have the CT spread all across the A-bomb site, but also aggressively in towards the box also here where Def is going to spot a massive amount of players trying to push back in. Slemmy and Def both picking up their first kills and Def swinging back around to find one from heaven. He almost gets himself a third, but Omidek is going to be able to take him back down. Android though moving in, finds these last two kills up close and it's Cole that closed out the second half pistol. And, you know, we might see a game here, man. Complexity coming together. Turns out I was right after all, Blue. <laughs> About what? I mean, uh, some fake. I mean. <laughs> well, we'll see if that was well placed, as it is looking like Misfits are just going to force into that second round, and their comeback could be crushed before it even gets rolling here if they manage to pull off the eco upset. Usual split for Misfits, though, so probably not going to see anything super fast from them. Maybe a bit of aggression to find some early kills, as you could see Devil Dubek going for the peak, but he's still, for the most part, going to hold back after going for an actual kill itself. Uh, just hiding inside of TCOM while his teammates do try to set up and Sure, no one else from Cole pushes either up the ramp or towards TCON itself, or even IV2. This is looking like Def holds a bit more of an advanced position behind the server there. Still nothing yet, though, so in a moment, we should be able to expect Misfits to sort of move into the opening here. 
really trying to do anything to bait out extra utility from the side of uh, complexity here as of yet either. They've got quite a few mollies still. Most of their smokes have been used. It's just Android that has one still sitting. And he is positioned on the A site, so that's another smoke that could pop its way over there into ladder room or something like that. Cut off the rotation from the guys in box halls. And the mollies as well. In the event the misfits do try to set these smokes up over there towards A. But they could uh, try to molly off like ramp or something like that too. But it's looking like now that Sean and Amanek won't be trying to prepare for these double smokes going back down. Just one trying to fake it though. And we do see that first Molotov down to the ground. Sean doesn't really seem to care about it. They pulled a third player in. They're very quietly also sneaking out from T-Con as well. Sean even hits the shot back down a ramp, so there's going to be a lot of confusion in the coal camp here now as they do send the bomb over in towards the A-site. Def able to hold for one. Devil looking for a response on the Deagle, but he's having some trouble hitting those shots. It's actually sick. And Shazam did the next few kills and sick. Now Arbuth of Amas finds the third and final one within the site to close out the eco upset for Misfits. Yeah, nope. <laughs> Just, like Faith. I said, man. <laughs> Faith gone again. You oversold it there as a problem. You were like, oh, they're good. They're coming back. And then just immediately destroyed yeah. in the second round. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Just when I started to believe. <laughs> so, just like that, back into Misfits having control here. Cole having themselves basically just a few upgraded pistols and someone gets a scout. Maybe Misfits do get a little bit too comfortable here and they make a few more mistakes, which can let Cole battle back. But for right now, it's looking nice and controlled over on the Misfits side. As they've got a three-man push working its way in from Ivy. Already taking down Death in a moment. Oh, okay. Sonny just walks across. It's a nice deletion of Shazam. Android hitting a nice Deagle shot here too. So definitely some fight still over for the Misfits players. Sick. Going to be wrapping back in. He finds one close up. You can definitely hear the player pushing him. Surreal is going to be able to transition into the kill there. But now he's the last one standing as he did just lose his teammate. He tries to find himself another winning battle here in the old bomb tunnel, but it doesn't work out. And Misfits do indeed find their consistency. They're going to hold the early half advantage here. Yeah, and, you know, I think that round that they lost where Sean Gears went down lower and killed Desi, I think that molly by Surreal was probably a one-way for Sean. Not like, you know, it was probably really hard for Desi to actually see him behind the Molotov there mm -hmm. and just worked against his entire team. You know, by throwing the volley, essentially. Because, like, the CT pretty much always wins that gun battle, and him being on that volley probably helped him a lot. Off of those benefits, Misfits, like I said before, are back in control again. Devo seeming to have a little bit of trouble there over towards Ivy, but he does have support from Shazam, although it's an up at that range, which isn't going to be the best. One of the other members of their team is still working with Helms, though, and still trying to take quick control of the upper portion of inner here, along with ladder. I'm just trying to flush out some of the CTs. As Complexity did try to play with it early on. Not really getting much damage overall here besides the early dink on the Devo back out outside of Banana. And since then, they pretty much abandoned all pressure here. Def is going to be holding close corner, though, just inside of T-Con. So definitely a few players on Cole once again trying to make a move. They've got, I believe, I think it's either going to be, I think it's Slemmy back up on top of Pop Dog as well, trying to watch out not only for ladder room, but can push forward and try to help out with T-Con if needed. But the flashbangs now going downstairs. Bit of an awkward exchange there, but still in the favor of Misfits as they pick up not only kills over here at the bottom of the ramp, but also by T-Con. So far, it's winning out all of their important battles here. And now it's down to Android. They should already know where he's positioned over here by Z. And he's at one HP. Not going to be able to get too much done. Misfits doing to close out their sequence of three rounds here. And now just three more away from closing out on this map, taking a nice 2-0 for the evening. They've got to get past just a few more gun runs from Complexity before they're able to claim that. Yeah, they do get on a buy, and it's a pretty decent buy. No Molotovs, though. We'll see what, you know, Misfits struggled a lot on their T-side versus Renegades. Um, but then again, I think Renegades is a bit better team than Complexity. So we're going to see a default, 2 one 2 2 Ivy, 2 taking box all control. Uh, multiple flashes coming down towards lower ramp. Sick already trying to challenge early on here too a little bit, but it's actually Death that hits the first kill and the second one as well. Able to find Devo from within side of the smoke after just catching Shazam. So early 5v3 advantage to Cole. Misfits though, still have the main pushing force available over here in the back, back box halls. They will be able to try and sort of sneak their way in and see if they can find better progress here. They tried to do it without using any utility here, but the problem is, is they still have watchful eyes on it. Sean trading out for one kill. Surreal's got a great lineup though to drop a bomb carrier. And now it's just going to be sick and left alive. Definitely spotted. These players going across the bomb and into the smoke, but overall just can't do much against the 1v4. Yeah, Misfits not doing anything there. 
that opens it up with two kills at Ivy. They try to take Inner together, not even able to get the bomb down. So that's going to be four to live for Complexity. And it's going to really help them out, just build their bank account up, make sure if they lose this round. Well, if they lose this round, they're still going to be uh, saving though. Yeah, so, this, so Misfits do decide to just go into this one here now as they toss in a deagle around between a few of them. Everybody is going to get... I thought there was a deagle. Yeah. All right, so someone should end up with that. And not a P250, I would assume. <laughs> what is this? Apparently Devo and Sean just fighting about who should have the deagle, apparently. So... Does lead itself into four AKs and a deagle at the end of the day, though, which was the expected result. And now we can actually see where they decide to take this stack towards. And they've got a few players again. The bomb, I believe, still inside of Tcon. Actually, no, I think it is coming through the, the halls itself. So they're all going to be grouped up in here more than likely. Very and they're just talking about what they want to do, and Sean just directing everyone. And while he does that, he's hoping complexity is going to, you know, burn some utility, waste some molotovs and whatnot. They've been, uh, they've been relatively preservative of a lot of it, though. Still, I think like three or four of their players, still smokes available. It's looking like three at this point. As one just got tossed out, but they've also got three mollies that they can use. Misfits, you know, obviously not making any noise at all, so nothing really to force out any of the needs from the Cole side of things. Just really doing it as the time ticks down a bit, which time has ticked down quite a bit here against Misfits' own favor. So they are going to start moving in and take a little bit of control if they want to get into these sites in time. And they started off with ladder room, but Android's waiting for this one. A clean two kill pickup for him inside. And even having Tcon smoke back off too. They are gonna be able to try and flush through Olaf in the short lane itself to get control here. Sick gets the first kill. That's the first step for Misfits trying to battle back right here. Shazam as well goes up on top. Now Def can strike, but he's only able to get one kill. Thankfully, everyone else on Misfits has brought down incredibly low. Sick is gonna get finished off last, and complexity do indeed went on another gun round here, putting them just five behind Misfits' overall score. Yeah, that was like a textbook, um, you know, example of how not to take ladder control. Um, you want to go down together. If you get some guy down and he jumps off the ladder, then the other guy could just fall down, maybe take like seven points of damage. If he goes to the ladder and then jumps to the left, and then that guy just drops down, that's a good way. Uh, you could throw a flash behind you as you're going down, actually. Simple does that sometimes. That's a really good way. You could actually go down with your flash, which Misfits tried to do, but, you know, failed. That's a decent way, too. Um, so there's definitely options as they're just going to block Rush Ivy and just completely demolish Slimmy. Yeah, Devo hits a nice deagle shot here with Sean leading the charge. Now he's got the M4. That's already the site under their control. They don't have to worry about anybody from Ladder Room or Tcon either. There's just going to be a very straightforward retake as they're on a two now. They can spot Desi's rifle. So while he escapes with one kill just out of the rushing pace that he takes himself towards hell. But overall, Sick shuts it down. Ends up with a double kill towards the end there. And Misfits, well, they went out that round just by rushing their way in through Ivy. Wow. I mean, if it works. Have armor there. <laughs> I mean, I think they had like a Deagle, a Tech 9, and three Glocks. And they just went around with like four alive. Just bulldoze their way in Ivy. Well, I guess it works. So there you go. And the best part is they get four. I think five. What does like complexity say to each other after that? <laughs> Probably what everyone else does. Good, good try, man. Good try. Really? I don't know. Yeah, you want to be pissed? I just I wonder what the inner inner workings of this I've never, squad is. I've never watched like an online qualifier with complexity and like heard their comms. Like I've heard Misfits' comms. That's their their comms being interesting. I don't think I've ever heard complexity do it though. Sometimes you have like like open IP tournaments and they leave uh, they leave like the, the voice chat on, you kinda hear them. If they use if they use dead talk at all. Because some teams still do. But I don't know if complexity really uses it. It wouldn't work here anyway. I don't think it works on these servers. So, even if I wanted it on, it wouldn't work out here. Well, anyway, complexity onto the full save now. Just a few upgraded pistols, essentially, and armor buys behind that. Everybody else is going to be on defaults. So you'll get Slummy, Desi, and Surreal. And Misfits is taking it nice and slow again. They've got the lineup over here towards the box halls. More than likely, just going to go for a pretty straightforward execute on B. While they will have to deal with a flank. Uh, besides that, they've only got one player to knock out on the site. And it's going to be Surreal, who's just sitting in the back of the USP, so he's not really any real threat. And this should be a pretty easy closeout, as they are watching for the flank, and it gets dispatched of as the actual first kill on the round. So just finding these few players in the back of the site, and they don't even really need to peek them if they want to fight them up close. That may actually work out better for them. 
whittling them down kind of one by one. And more so than not, Complexity just really posting up on the sides of the site. We're trying to line up for maybe a few exits or something like that, but that may be it. Because they can't really get much done with this fly here. And they are just going to have to end up backing away. Blizzard of the Eagles may be worth to save it, specifically the armor. This next stuff coming around. Surreal, just getting knocked out. So again, we're back to the old Complexity here. Not really able to get much done. Slummy's gonna find himself in a bit of a battle there at the end, but obviously just the default pistol, so he can't do much. Def saves, so saves himself a little bit of cash, and because of that, obviously as you can see, he's gonna be able to get the extra, you know, HE or smoke grenade into the next round, so benefits him to a slight degree. Yeah, but still a pretty poor buy. I mean, I think it's a lot better to have like an umper here, like I'm, like if you're Slummy or something, and just get like full nades and utility, it really helps in rounds like these, but. You know, Misfits again, just taking this inner control. 3 1 1 right now, one team mid, one IV, three towards inner. And they're going to be able to do anything they want this round, like execution wise. Because they just have no nades to really stop it or anything. Like this spot told the push. Well, sick and Desi in a bit of a standoff right now. Neither one having spotted each other just yet, but if we do, de if we do end up seeing Desi decide to make a move here around the corner. Well, they would have found each other, but not anymore. The timing of it doesn't pass. So, all of Misfits having backed away from box halls now. And holding positions. Probably just into more than likely a straightforward A execute at this point. Running under a minute mark, so we have to see them moving into the setup to execute here pretty shortly. But Cole, at the same time, still holding a lot of aggressive positions in their own right. Def is going to be kind of out of this combat. You've got one on top of Pop Dog here outside of T-Con. Another one inside of Ladder Room as Android holds it there. And pretty close up to the others, though. They are going to be sending quite a few players down onto the B-Bomb set as they still hold two there for Complexity. First Black Flag missed, though, so it's going to be messing them up a little bit. And Surreal is able to trace the spray through the smoke, finding Omanek. Now the actual hit is going to have to come through into Ladder Room. One of them executes for, but Android's able to hold on to that one, although he's caught trading on his gun. Shazam drops down and surprises, so they trade that kill back. Still advantage for Cole, though, and they still have really good control of the site. There's just not a lot of time left. Devo, though, is going to run over Death, and only one more remains on the site himself. Slummy, great timing on the push, moves up, drops one, tries to go for a second. Six going to just barely trade that out with only 20 HP, and also just barely get this plant. He's got to be ready, though, as Destiny can go for this peak at any second, and he's just going to catch him. The flashbang in far too late, and Shazam misses the shot out into the open, missing a second one, and he goes down to Surreal. So Cole buys the time to stay alive for at least one more round, as they'll push up to nine. Yeah, and I mean, Android and Ladder is just destroying them. Every time he's in there, it's a multi-frag round. It's hearing exactly what their strat is, whether they're running towards inner or going outside. So the rounds that Complexity is winning are, are generally on his back, uh, you know, off him having that ladder control and holding it very well. Well, like I said before, it buys Complexity a little bit more time, but it is not going to come close to breaking Misfits just yet. They still have AKs and the op on Shazam with full utility for all five players. So into the full buy, another chance for Misfits just to shut this down right here, right now. Omanek wasting no time. It's a fast smoke setup for them. The CTs respond in their own kind. But you have Omanek out. He's the only one, though, but it is still keeping this full four-man stack in formation here over on the outer site. Surreal is going to start to move back over, and a few more are getting keen to what this could possibly be, as it is indeed going to lead itself to be a fake to allow them easier entry to be. Won't be the case, though. They've got a two-man stack here. And in a moment, Omanek is going to end up being tested. As Cole is getting more and more intel and finding out just how open this site actually is. Omanek only getting one kill. Traded back out a second later, but Sean hits the first entry here on the site. A trade from Surreal back over there on the back platform. And Molly just in time on Z. They try to test it. They try to re-smoke it back out. But it's too late. Shazam's already had impact there, taking down Android. In a moment, I think Devo did just spot the CT down below. So they're goodbye to Surreal. And Sean hits the touchdown nade to close out on the map. It is going to be a 2-0 for the evening. And once again, it's Misfits that reign victorious here. Pushing themselves forward, four out of six of their total maps have been claimed here now. And only one opponent remains, but it's going to be much tougher than the last two. As they'll have to go up against Immortals to try and buy for a spot in the playoffs. Yeah, I mean, it's hard to really say how well Misfits played. I, I want to say they played really well and, and they're 
really a lot improved, but it's just so hard to tell when they're playing against Complexity, and Complexity loses rounds to a Deagle, a Tech-9, and three Glocks when they five-man rush Ivy or, like, just make some of the... Just some of the most poorly played rounds we ever see. Um, I don't know, just a really bad performance by Complexity, to be honest. Really well, bad. To close out the night, we're going to send it back over to the analysts and see what their final thoughts are, of course, on this Complexity match. Now, Dr. Vendetta, what are you going to prescribe Complexity uh, at this point? Assisted, no. Um, whoa, uh, whoa. Uh, that took no. a turn for the dark really <laughs> quickly. Please. No, uh, honestly, Complexity right now... I, I don't understand like what they're doing in in their free time like well not free time but when they're actually working right like what is actually going on over in that camp because we don't it's as Dave's mentioned it just right off the bat really after the first game and then we saw it going more of it going into train as well there's not really a whole lot of synergy between them what's going on in terms of just like setting each other up for success having basic you know flashes and smokes set up whenever you do an execute and actually having a clear idea this was just you know a couple of those things that Slimmy was supposed to fix for the team but and if he's not able to you know make that mark on the team then first off he doesn't have any impact and there's no no real reason you know having him around if the team's players are not going to listen to him but you already have a massive issue if the players are not able to you know actually take orders in that sense and, and figure out what they need to do because for or a lot of the time it just seems like a bit of a, a bit of a mess on complexity side and uh, that shouldn't happen when you you have pretty much a week to prepare for you know one map especially if you know if need be just forget about the map pick of the other team just focus on your own do your best with that you know given the situation you find yourself in and instead we just see two completely flat performances out of complexity and that shouldn't happen shouldn't happen but it certainly did let's take a look at round number four now yeah and uh, this is one of like the prime examples of complexity not really having any sort of idea as to what's going on so you can see they're already up uh you know with the man advantage also have a pretty significant health advantage with sick being at one hp and they decide to do you know this is perfectly fine after creating some rotation so towards the outer uh, bomb site or holding players there smoke off to towards lower but the problem is first off they're not necessarily grouped up when they actually decide to go so they wait up for that third guy to join in on them but nobody actually crosses over towards the bomb site. There's no reason for them to do this. They started this execute at 40 seconds left, and we're at 20 seconds when the Slummy finally makes it to a bomb site with the bomb to actually move forward. And we saw this with Rush in their pistol round, for instance, when they just like turn forward, catch off rotations, that does miracles for them. So, like it makes the round so much easier to win. Complexity does the complete opposite in this situation. They let the entire rotation from uh, from Misfits come in from outer yard in towards the inner bomb site before they've even moved out from third train. And that should never, never happen. Both lower and in between bomb train and third train was smoked off for the longest times, and they still need like 15 plus seconds to not do anything at all. Like that that doesn't happen ever. There's no legitimate excuse for you just stopping completely. And it's not just on one guy stopping, but it's three players just not doing anything at all. And it, <laughs> like you're, you're not gonna win anything with that. You're not gonna I do tell anything. If that was all one long breath, or just, just how? Like, do, do you feel better now? A little bit. Just a little bit. Bit. I got it off my chest. Just get but. it out, and then there it is. Uh, and you know, I'm, I'm glad you feel a little bit better. Yeah, no, just, that was uh, let's, therapeutic. Let's just go ahead and just recap uh, today's match because I feel like that's where we've been left. Uh, CLG versus Rush kind of went exactly how we thought it would. Yeah. Uh, I think I, I thought there would be a little more hope even in this this previous matchup with Complexity and uh, Misfits. But, you know, obviously a 16-2 and a 16-9 are not indicative to a, a close bout. No, uh, definitely isn't. And, uh, well, with the, the Rush CLG game, I think for, for the first one at least, uh, no, for the uh, overpass one at least, 16-10 looks a bit closer than it necessarily was. I think like CLG uh, had pretty solid performance today and actually felt in control the entire time. But, you know, if you want to look at the positives, at least both C well, CLG, they, you know, keep looking strong and uh, Misfits, from what it looks like at least, are, are gelling well with the two new Frenchies. Gelling well with the two new Frenchies. Let's take a look now at the standings over there on the EU side of things as it's most certainly heated up almost to its this highest point. Yeah, no, teams are starting to qualify. That's pretty much as hot as you can get. North and Mouse Sports are already securing their spots in Dallas as of right now. So, you know, congratulations to them. Now they can start the preparation pretty much for uh, for what's about to come. We also see G2, Astralis, Navi, and Faceclan currently sitting at the top six spots. And, uh, you know, considering how the rest of the standings look, they are in pretty decent positions actually to, to make it to Dallas themselves.
Most certainly. Let's switch over now to the North American side of things. SK almost a shoe in into yeah. their. Actually, no, I, I believe they, they are a shoe in. They yeah. are in to the, uh, that the is land correct. playoffs in Dallas. Uh, but following right behind them, Immortals Cloud9, Liquid Energy, Misfits, Optic. And well, I think you guys can read if you're still watching this. So it's pretty sure I don't need to go further into the depths that is known yeah. in the lower tier standings <laughs> of North America. No, but you know, I, for me, obviously, I want to focus on you know the middle part of it. Just you know, when we started off this week, Renegades were the ones in sixth spot, Misfits were the one in tenth. So everything is just swinging back and forth uh, immensely here, and it just builds up to a very, very exciting last week, I think. Well, you know what? It's very important to rehash the the. Uh, the real reason that all of this online play is going on, all of these teams, there's 28 teams across uh, here in the European region, which are vying to qualify for the land finals at Dallas in the Verizon Theater. Yep. So make sure you have those tickets at ProLeague.com slash Dallas. I don't think you can get them anywhere else. Maybe even Dead is selling them on the side, <laughs> but I'll probably lose my job if I tell you to buy them from him directly. Yeah, but but you know, we can assume. We can assume yeah. uh, that may make a something out of you and me. Either way, I think it's also very important to note uh, that the top uh, the top six teams from each region do advance to that land that land qualifier, and we are heating up. the The race is on, and it's coming Please. to a close for some teams uh, on both sides of the equation. You're either in the land for sure now. Or because you're in the land for sure now, another team isn't in the land exactly. for sure. Uh, but nonetheless, we will not be back next week. Uh, we will be taking a break for uh, DreamHack Austin uh, going into this weekend. Yeah, and then uh, uh, Sydney. Yeah, and then Sydney right after that, which should also be a pretty cool pretty cool experience, cool time down there in Australia, mate. Oh, absolutely. You ever been to Australia? Yeah, yeah twice, actually. Nice. What part? Uh, Sydney, once. Beautiful city, so you know whoever's going there, just kind of have an absolute ball. And uh, Melbourne and Cairns as well. well. Well, I learned very quickly when when I was there with the team. Uh, it was like you don't call it Melbourne, you call it Melbourne. You, Melbourne. They don't oh, even yeah, know that, what Melbourne that, that is. That is actually in true. Yeah, that is actually true. Only people outside of Australia pronounce the full, like the actual letters of that city. It's weird how that works. Let yeah. me pronounce a few more letters to you guys. You guys ready? You guys ready at home? Bring it. Y o u t u b e dot com. ESLCS. And what are they going to find there, Vendetta? There they're going to find VODs of both EU matchups, any matchups, any matchups really that's happened so far this season of Pro League and seasons past as well. So if you have a favorite team, you missed a couple of games maybe, or you just want to learn something, you know, for instance, we saw CLG bring out something new on Overpass today. It's definitely the place to find it. Well, most certainly is. But that does it for us here. Again, reminder, we will not be back next week, uh, but stay tuned to the Twitter. Stay tuned to everything else you got. We're going to Austin. Had a great time this week. We'll see you guys at Week 10.